everyone. I see some people are still coming. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome uh, to this Paritech CSC PhD program today. Um, I'm Violette Gerard. I'm in charge of Paritech office in Asia with uh, Min Huayan, uh, with us uh, on this call. And uh, we will be your contact point for any question you may have on Paritech CSC PhD program in Asia. Um, so, first of all, thank you everyone for connecting today. About the agenda uh, of this uh, webinar, uh, it will be in two parts. So, the first part, uh, we will be all together uh, in this call. Uh, I will shortly present Paritech, do a quick presentation and introduction of Paritech, and uh, I will present Paritech CSC, CSC PhD program the prerequisite and the calendar. And then you will have an introduction of the research in the four different schools of Paritech who have uh, some PhD proposals this year, Arimetie, Chimie, Ecole des Ponts, and SPC. So this will be the first part of this uh, webinar, but we will be all together uh, in the webinar. And the second part of the webinar, second part of the webinar, you will be able to be in short groups, uh, in and during this time in short groups, you will be in five different rooms, depending of uh, the main research thematic of uh, your subjects and uh, your PhD proposals. And you will have uh, time to exchange uh, directly candidates and advisors. The candidates will have the opportunity to ask directly the questions to the advisor, and the advisors will take time to present uh, the PhD proposals for this year, Paritech uh, CSC PhD program. Um, so this will be the two main parts and you will have a time of uh, question and answer. During all the time of uh, this webinar, please do not hesitate to ask any questions you may have, whether on the chat, uh, you can use the chat to ask your questions or answer directly. You can see we are a lot of persons today during uh, this webinar. So please try to use the chat. Here are the names of the different uh, uh, advisors present today during the time of the webinar. Do not hesitate to ask them directly any question you may have. Uh, I will uh, begin by a PyTech introduction, but before to do this, uh, I, I have to uh, give you three, uh, main, uh, two main uh, information. The first one is that all this uh, um, this presentation will be sent to you, so no need to take any notes. Uh, we will send you the presentation uh, directly after the webinar, uh, so you don't need to take any notes. You can just listen what is uh, what is said. And the second one is uh, you can directly uh, change on Zoom your name, first name, and university, so that if you have any question, uh, your advisors can answer depending on your situation uh, directly. So you can. And just directly name first name university most today. So uh, I will begin the Paritech introduction. Um, so Paritech is a consortium of prestigious uh, graduate engineering schools in France. Um, Paritech, uh, uh, the vision of Paritech uh, is to be the primary network of graduate schools in the France and. Uh, technical, technical technology, both in France and worldwide, with the main missions uh, that's to train leaders that can break down scientific and technological barriers to tackle major challenges, so leaders and, of course, researchers. Uh, the core values of Paritech are openness, uh, innovation, uh, sorry, uh, are uh, openness, innovation, excellence, and solidarity. Um, as you can see here, you have uh, seven grand écoles uh, uh, in Paritech. So if you try to uh, find uh, Paritech schools in the international rankings, uh, or uh, different schools are uh, in universities, so you can find uh, Chimie Paritech, OSPC, and MIN SL. Uh, you can find Agro Paritech, and Institut d'Optique in Université Paris-Saclay, and École des Ponts and Arimétier are ranked on their own. 
this is the map uh, of Paris Tech schools. So you can see that our schools are not only established in Paris, but uh, all around France. Uh, you have a uh, possibility to do research in all these cities and laboratories of Paris Tech. Uh, about Paritech consortium key numbers, so we have about 12,500 students, 1,700 PhD candidates. Uh, we have about 70 international agreements, 85 laboratories, about 1,500 professors, 30% of our students are internationals, and we have an important alumni network, about 90,000 alumni. Um, so you can see that uh, Paritech schools have a very old history uh, from 19th century. Uh, we have old traditions uh, at the origins. Paritech schools were built uh, bridges and the roads. Uh, the oldest one uh, was created in 1747, Ecole des Ponts by Louis XV. So all of our schools have old uh, traditions. Also, Schools have also some very famous alumni. Uh, here you may see some uh, name you may know uh, about Nobel Prizes from alumni of Paritech schools, uh, such as uh, Pierre and Marie Curie uh, or Alain Affleck. Uh, they have also left a mark uh, in history. So here are uh, also some famous alumni uh, you, you may know, um, or maybe. Uh, you know Augustin Fresnel or uh, so Paul Langevin or some names that uh, ring a bell. Um, um, I will not go through everything. I will not have time to do the school you know. uh, One, well, two main things that uh, I will really insist during the, as a full webinar uh, time is private schools, uh, international openness and Paritech schools, uh, permanent connect connection with companies. Um, so we have a permanent connection with all uh, these multinationals. You see here, lots of our alumni in the school uh, are also working in the schools. The schools have close relations uh, um, with these multinationals. So you can here see the names also of some famous Paritech alumni. Uh, currently CEO and CEO of these uh, multinationals. Also, uh, Paritech schools uh, give the possibility uh, to uh, have particular uh, time uh, to develop uh, research, but also startups. Here are some famous startups uh, from uh, or alumni from Paritech schools. Some of them also uh, you may know, uh, such as Insect or Lego Start. Uh, why choose France um, and why choose to study in our schools in France? Uh, well, uh, first for the industry and the economic attractivity of France. We are the seventh economic power in the world. Um, also, second for the reputation of uh, its research and scientific leadership in mathematics, chemistry, and also for, the fam for its famous research organizations. Uh, third, for the excellence of its education system. And uh, fourth, for, of course, its cultural life. Uh, France is a country of uh, uh, lifestyle, arts, heritage, and it's also the country of uh, values, commitments to sustainable development and ecological transition. Uh, here you can see also uh, a study uh, done to international students studying in France. So nine out of 10 international students would recommend France as a first study destination. Uh, now that I've been uh, through a short Paritech presentation, please don't hesitate if you have any question on Paritech schools. Uh, you can ask them directly on the chat if you want. So if there is no question, I will continue with a presentation of Paritech CSC PhD program. So first about the applicant profile. The applicants must be citizens of the People's Republic of China at the time of the application. 
Uh, applicants should not hold any foreign permanent residence permit. Uh, they should be at least 18 years old at the time of the application. And uh, they can be in a different situation. Uh, you can have more details also by scanning the, the QR code uh, just next to the prerequisite. So for the applicants, they can be studying in China right now, whether at a final year of master's degree or in the first PhD year. Uh, in this case, you must be recommended by your own university for co supervised PhD. Uh, applicants may also be actually studying in France or in any of the 43 partner countries of the CSC. You can have the, the list directly on the CSC uh, website. And in that case, they may be whether in the second or last year of master's degree, or they also may be students graduated within less than a year at the time of the application of the CSC scholarship. Of course, applicants who have studied for a diploma d'ingénieur in France, and especially those who have received funding from the CSC Paris Tech Plus Nine program project are also encouraged to apply for this PhD program. Also, uh, it's possible for some students, maybe you are currently working. If you are a master's degree holder and you work in a company, uh, the company needs to agree with your PhD project. That's one of the conditions of the CSC. So about the, the prerequisite, what we will uh, pay particular intention uh, will be uh, that you need to have an excellent academic record, especially in the relevant discipline for the, the PhD. Um, so also you will pay attention to uh, your good command of written and spoken English, uh, especially during the interview. Uh, you should have a current personal and professional plan. You should be able to explain logically uh, your professional career paths. And you should be willing to learn minimal French for basic communication. French is not uh, an obligation uh, to, to apply for this Paritech CSC uh, PhD program. But uh, we encourage you, if you uh, want to uh, come in France, to learn basic French for uh, minimum communication in everyday life. Uh, so a few tips for your application. First, uh, you need to learn as much as you can about the laboratories, the PhD advisors, the past and present work, uh, the publications. You need to carefully select PhD proposals that are relevant with your personal profile, uh, and then you need to build a current, clear, and professional plan around the information uh, you gather, uh, and you need to be able to explain it uh, clearly and in a, a, a logical way. Uh, so about the CSC scholarship, uh, it's about 1,350 euros per month. Uh, it will cover the full duration, uh, the duration of the PhD specified on your admission admission letter at the beginning of the program, and it will start from the time you arrive in France. Uh, it will also have a one-time run-trip international travel expenses by the most economical route, so one time during the three or four years. The duration of the CS6 scholarship, it's about 36 to 48 months for the full PhD and 6 to 24 months for co-supervised PhD. Um, one condition very important, you need to be committed to go back to China at the end of, the, of your PhD. There are some exceptions uh, that can be found directly on the CSC website. About the calendar and steps of the Baritech CSC PhD program, you can find all relevant information directly on her website. Uh, and uh, here you have uh, the website link if you want. You can also learn more about the Baritech CSC PhD program and about the laboratories on our website by going in research and innovation and laboratory directory, you will find directly the laboratory of directory of private tech schools, and you can directly check the information on the laboratories on the website. For this year program, we have four schools involved, about 64 PhD proposals in nine different fields of engineering in nine different cities in France. You can have all these information through this website link to Pytech. Uh, and here you can directly go in list of PhD proposals and see the PhD proposals booklet with all the subject details and the Excel table 
to check the different subject lists we have for this year program. To get relevant information, you can also check our uh, social network. So you can see that uh, we have our social media accounts uh, also in China. A lot of them are in China. Uh, WeChat, Twitter, Weibo, Bilibili. We have also Line. And so you can directly uh, scan the QR code of the social media you're more used to, and you will find all the relevant information on the program on this social media. About the international admission process, it begins from 16th of October, so it already begins. We have already published the PhD proposals on Paritech website, and you have until the 10th of December uh, to apply. So 10th of December, 11 p.m., 59 uh, minutes, almost midnight, to apply uh, for uh, the program. Once you have applied uh, from 22nd of December, you will be invited to the interview. And we will uh, uh, have interviews that will take place from 8th of January to 19th of January 2024 with Paritech team. From late January to late February, you will have interview with the PhD supervisors if you have not already contacted them. Uh, the best is really to contact your PhD supervisors as soon as possible to ask them for more information and have more details before. But if you have not already contacted them, you will have interview with them from late January, late February. Then you will receive the conditional admission letter and the application for the CSC scholarship are from March 2024. Uh, so how to apply it? About the documents uh, to apply, uh, we will check, of course, your uh, recommendations forms. Uh, so we need two recommendation recommendations form. We will check your academic transcripts. Uh, we will take particular attention to the individual uh, documents. Uh, the rankings uh, of the individual uh, person. Uh, we will uh, also uh, check all uh, your information, your ability to speak English and uh, French if you can. The first in your application file is that the file should be complete at the time of the application. Uh, we'll check your GPA, of course, the rankings of the universities, your personal rankings at national and international levels. We we'll check your referrals. And then during the interview, uh, we will be careful on your capacity to communicate in English and in French if you can, your capacity to present and explain clearly, logically, your personal and professional project. During the interview with a potential PhD supervisor, uh, you will uh, need to explain the relevance of your profile with the laboratory's requirements and the thesis. And we will check your scientific level in the different fields. About the uh, tuition fees, uh, first I should explain that uh, to realize uh, a doctoral training program in France, uh, the, total call, uh, the total cost is about 100,000, uh, 100, sorry, to 150,000 euro per year. But of course, we will not ask you to pay this price since you have um, the tuition, the yeah, French government and CSC. So the PhD candidates uh, in a uh, Paritech CSC PhD program are only asked for tuition fees. So about 380 euro plus the 100 uh, CVC. You can see the definition here. So it's about uh, 6,000 uh, renminbi uh, in total. So it's really a really a, um, good uh, prices to uh, have a, a thesis in France. Costs are really uh, low. And then about the results, uh, by the end of May 2024, June 2024, you will have the results of uh, the CSC. So the CSC will announce the list of successful candidates uh, each year, we have over 100 candidates who apply to this program, and all of them get uh, proposals from a Paritech School Laboratory. For example, last year, we had uh, 28 scholarships, uh, which were granted by the CSC. 
The successful applicants will then receive the official admission letters and be informed by the CSC about all the administrative procedures to follow before the departure in France. And once all the administrative procedures are over and the visa obtained, the PhD candidates will be expected to arrive in France in September of 2024. So about studying at Paris Tech, uh, about the accommodation, uh, we will, uh, the school will help you to find accommodation. You will have possibility of accommodation allowance from the French government. Uh, the average living cost in Paris is about uh, 800 euro per month. So you see that the CSC um, scholarship covers it uh, fully. And also you will, be, uh, you will have an assistant uh, an assistance for the visa procedure uh, from uh, Minoha and I uh, from the Paritech uh, office in Asia. About the research in Paritech's uh, higher education institutions. Uh, so as I explained about the rankings, if you, see, you want to uh, check the rankings of our schools, um, for the rankings of agro Paritech and the uh, Institut d'Opti, uh, you can find it through the name of the University Paris-Saclay uh, in the international ranking. For the rankings of Chimie Paris, ESPCI, and MIN, it will be under the name of PSL University. And for the rankings of Arimétier and École des Ponts, they are uh, ranked on their own. Here you can see the international rankings of our schools. Here are also some who uh, partner in National Research Institutes. Some of them are very famous, uh, such as uh, CNRS or INHAI. About the research domains of our schools, here are the list of the different research domains of uh, the schools of Paritech. Of course, uh, some of them are not represented today, but if you have any question or interest, you can ask directly to the laboratories. Uh, if uh, they want to uh, have contact with you and may develop some uh, PhD proposals that are not already in the list. And to contact uh, our Paritech laboratories, you can directly scan this uh, QR code to the laboratories directory of our Paritech school, uh, and you will directly have access uh, to our website and to the laboratory directory of Paritech schools here. Uh, so it's all from my presentation. Is there any maybe questions about whether Paritech introduction or Paritech CSC PhD programs? You can ask on the chat if you have any questions. Is there a communication uh, with chat group? Uh, so yes, you can uh, directly ask your question on WhatsApp and we will uh, answer you. So you can not hesitate to contact us through or we chat. Uh, okay, so about the question before, is there a specific English certificate I need to prepare to prove the English ability? Uh, we will check all your English certificate, whether TOEIC, TOEFL, or any certificate uh, you may have. I see some persons have answered. You can use TET. And also we check your English level during the interview, so your ability to uh, explain, explain uh, your professional project in English in a logical way for your uh, advisors. Yes, all the PhD proposals have been uploaded, so you can check on our website uh, directly on the PhD booklet and you will see all the PhD proposals. Any other question? Is there any PhD position for biology? Um, you can see all the PhD proposals in the booklet on our website, but if you do not see any PhD proposals that is of interest for you, do not hesitate to contact directly uh, the laboratory or the advisors that uh, you would be interested to develop a PhD proposal with. Uh, and uh, you can discuss and they may uh, offer maybe another PhD proposals, even if it's uh, not published right now. 
Can I apply if my article is not published? Yes, it's not a problem. And then any other question? I'm in PhD third years. Can I apply to this project? Um, it's um, well, it's it's really complicated. Maybe I uh, you can uh, send us a message about your specific situation, uh, so we can answer your question about the specific situation you're in. Li Fang Tian. I obtained my bachelor in China. And I'm currently in France. Yes, if you have obtained your bachelor's degree in China and uh, you're currently in a diploma d'ingénieur in France, uh, you need to provide your four grades of your universities, so both in China and uh, your diploma d'ingénieur in France or so your uh, university school in France. Yes, all your grades. We will check both uh, the grades of your bachelor's degree and master's degree. Okay. Okay. Is there any other question? Thanks. So, uh, so thank you uh, very much, Violette, and thanks everybody for being here. I'm Ilaria Cofini. I'm uh, actually the <clears throat> director for research at Chimie Paris Tech. So we can go in the next slide, please. Um, so uh, Chimie Paris Tech is a, a school that is uh, focused essentially in chemistry. So it's a chemical engineer school. Although actually um, our uh, subject you will see are also at the border with other disciplines like biology, for instance. So um, in the school, we have three laboratories. Sorry, just stay in the way. Yes. In the school, we have three laboratories. And uh, actually, the subject that you have for the uh, Paritech um, opening, they are actually coming from just from two of them. So IRCP and ICLES. That's the reason why I will just show the research that is mainly done in these two laboratories, which are both in Paris city center. So you will be located in near the Pantheon to, 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 to work with us. So you can proceed, please. So just to show you some key figures, uh, we are a small school because we have 115 around research and teacher researcher, but we, are, we have in between 90 and uh, 100 PhD students per year. And they are actually um, uh, very international because more than half of them, actually more than 60% are an international doctoral students. So in the lab, everybody will speak English, no problem uh, of integration. And uh, as Violet was saying before, uh, we are a chemical engineer school. So there is a strong link also for with companies and uh, uh, roughly a half of our PhD are, are funded by companies. So you will be in a context where uh, there is a, <clears throat> a strong connection with companies, large or small, or also with startup, as it was mentioned before. So um, we have an average of publication of 25 publications per month. You will see some example of this publication later on. And uh, um, the school is very active in research uh, because we have uh, six ERC uh, grantee in our laboratories. ERC are actually very large European project with finance uh, uh, very uh, excellent research, excellence in research. And uh, we are participating to uh, also uh, many international project, project of collaboration. And there is a bunch of, uh, let's say, um, awards that have been collected by our uh, researcher and just mentioning the most recent one. So you can go on, please. So <clears throat> um, uh, I will now present you the two laboratories for, um, for which you will have the topics that have been proposed. The first one, uh, Back, back is the uh, Institute of Chemistry for Life and Health Sciences. So this is ICLES. It's a small laboratory. It's composed by four teams, and these four teams actually address uh, different aspects of chemistry for health and life sciences. From theoretical chemistry, you will see two topics on this. To organic synthesis, you will see also two topics from that to uh, inorganic chemical biology. So here it's more on the border really uh, with respect to uh, biology or um, let's say electrochemistry, imaging and whatever analytic system, analytic uh, process you would imagine 
uh, also devoted to life sciences. So we can do next. So um, just to show you some example, uh, for instance, uh, the theoretical chemistry group together with the inorganic chemical biology teams uh, worked a lot in the design and optimization of PDT that are um, component drugs for photodynamics theory, so anti-cancer. And this results, of course, in uh, a very nice uh, uh, publication in High Impact Factor Journal, also in uh, patenting. Uh, and then, uh, <clears throat> for instance, there is an example of what we can do uh, in uh, using PECTID-based nanoarchitecture for teragnostic. And also, um, you will see uh, some topics from the CESA teams about this. And also, there are a very uh, beautiful example of how you can actually build new structures new molecules uh, by catalysis, like, uh, for instance, in the project of uh, ERC project of Guillaume Lefebvre on secret addition the, on iron catalyzed systems, or, for instance, uh, asymmetric reduction properties. We can go next. Um, so, of course, this is done uh, in a good, uh, let's say, um, research infrastructure. So we have access, of course, to chemistry lab, but also to high performance computing centers and also uh, to technique and platform for imaging, for instance. So I just put some selected projects that are just example of uh, this uh, excellence, uh, excellent project that have been financed in theoretical chemistry, in organic chemistry, or in inorganic chemistry. And of course, you can see that we are also involved in more environmentally friendly, uh, let's say, consortium for chemistry consortium. And of course, we have strong national and partnership in this lab. So if we now we go to uh, the next level, ah, sorry, to the list of topics uh, next, uh, you will uh, see that they are distributed around the four teams, as I said. There is one from the inorganic chemistry biology, two from the CESA teams, three for it, uh, two from the theoretical chemistry, and two for uh, catalysis uh, and organic chemistry. So if now we go on the, the other laboratory, this is the Institute, uh, Institute de Recherche de Chimie Paris. So it's, a, a, it's an institute that is still focused on chemistry, but more on materials and chemistry of materials, energy production and storages, and chemical engineering. So the two laboratories are really complementary uh, in terms of what you can find in uh, chemistry. So you have eight teams. Um, <clears throat> uh, each team is uh, really devoted to a specific team. So for instance, the 2 p.m. teams is essentially on uh, chemical engineering proceedings. The E2 I2E uh, teams is uh, focusing on interfaces, but also in electrochemistry and energy production and storage. And then you have a theme uh, that is NPOE, that is actually uh, um, focusing on material for uh, photonics and optoelectronics. Uh, there are many sub subtopics on these teams. And then you have a, a metal uh, structural metallurgy teams. You have a team that is focused on <clears throat> catalysis, but uh, essentially for uh, polymerization. And then you have uh, themes that is focusing on interfacing and soft materials, soft matter. And then you have a team that is focused on surface chemistry. And finally, a team that which is very um, peculiar, which is actually uh, focusing on material for cultural heritage. So if we go to the next slide, uh, you can see some example of um, different uh, uh, key uh, research topic, very recent one. And you can see, for instance, that uh, when you study material, you can also study material from uh, very uh, uh, complex, let's say, uh, sources. Uh, for instance, in the first uh, topic on the left, you see how uh, our researcher were linking actually the structure, the chemical structure, the pigments used uh, in the Mona Lisa, uh, famous Mona Lisa painting, uh, to uh, what were the, um, I mean, the main topic of preparation of this painting. So it means that actually you can study uh, in, in this, uh, in our teams also, um, real materials for cultural heritage. There is, there is a strong link with the Louvre Museum. And then, um, <clears throat> um, of course, we can, <clears throat> all this um, uh, research is done thanks to uh, local research infrastructure uh, that are enabling to characterize either bulk or surface properties of materials. You see some photo there. Of course, we do, you can do synthesis, chemistry, and flow chemistry. Uh, we have infrastructure for optics. And as I was mentioning, we are also part and involved in the uh, new Agla uh, infrastructure that is under the Louvre. So uh, with this, I uh, want just to show you the, the topics that the Institute of the Recherche de Fille in Paris also offer. You have uh, uh, eight other uh, topics. So in, in total, you will have 
16 topics from Simulary. And you can see that you have uh, four topics from the COCP theme, uh, the three being uh, related to the synthesis of uh, polymers, basically, and one being fully theoretical. And you have two, uh, theme, two topics coming from the structure of metallurgy themes, and uh, one topic from uh, the team that is studying um, surface in chemistry, and one topic concerning uh, the use of um, uh, polymer nanoparticle for uh, photo uh, biocatalyst and anti cancer theory. So, with this, I finish, but um, I would, um, as Violet was saying, I uh, would encourage you to really to contact uh, the, um, the, 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 the director of the thesis if you are interested in something. And if you don't find something, you can also directly contact me if you're interested in topics in chemistry. With this, I finish. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Hidaya. So um, this was for the presentation of Chimie Pari. Um, now I will uh, let Constantino uh, do the presentation of uh, USPC. So I will just work for you. Presentation, Constantino, and I begin the presentation of USPC Pari. Maybe your uh, micro is off, Constantino. I see you are on the discussion. So welcome, everyone. Uh, I'm Constantino Creton. I'm the director of research of ESPCI Paris, and I'm going to give you uh, a few uh, a glance of what our activities. And of course, I encourage you to go and look at the uh, specific topics that are uh, offered by ESPCI. So let's move to the next. Okay. okay. So so uh, this is a summary of uh, what we are actually proposed. So there is a number uh, of research activity and labs at OSPCE. So we, we are focusing on physics, chemistry, and also a bit of biology, but there is no topics on biology in, uh, in today's uh, presentation. So the, the 18 PhD proposal will be for the majority in physics. And I think we, we the, all the logos that you see below here correspond to the different uh, research units. And uh, they, on the left, you have uh, physics and mechanics, uh, microscopic physics. This is wave physics. And the, the bottom one is physics of study of materials. So, so these three are really physics lab, physics and mechanics. And on the right, you have chemistry and let's say uh, interface between physics and chemistry. And, and Gulliver and Sim are material science and soft matter physics labs. So uh, these uh, seven laboratories have uh, an equal number of uh, scientists to actually propose research team in over seven fields of research. Uh, and I think I will uh, go to the following slide to give an idea of the different fields of research that there are. So uh, ESPCI is an interdisciplinary school. Uh, the, the focus, I think, for us is to bridge the gap between the disciplines. So most of the project will be across, let's say, physics with a bit of chemistry or maybe life science and physics. And the, you will find in the research groups different types of uh, expertise. So here they are divided into subgroups, but I think many of these research groups will be uh, interdisciplinary by nature with people collaborating uh, together. Uh, the two top labs are in biology that are more related to life science are brain plasticity and physics for medicine. All of this is also available on our website. Uh, the, the labs that are uh, more, let's say, centered around chemistry, uh, there is a, a large organic chemistry and polymer chemistry lab, chemistry of molecules and material. Uh, soft matter science and engineering, yes. Someone wanted to ask a question? No? Okay, uh, the, the soft matter science and engineering lab is a, a material science lab. 
uh, working mostly on organic type of material and complex fluids. Uh, Institute of Porous Material is a chemistry lab working on metal organic framework, so very chemistry uh, intensive. And uh, CBI, which means chemistry, biology, and innovation, is focused on physical chemistry, uh, microfluidics, uh, and generally is really at the interface between physics and chemistry with a strong focus on applications. So the, the, you know that uh, there is also an I in ESPCI, which is there for industry. Finally, uh, uh, at the bottom, you have some more physics, uh, let's say a center lab, Institut Langevin, uh, which is a wave physics lab with its application in telecommunication and imaging. There's a lot of imaging in there uh, and physics for medicine. So health application for that. Uh, physics and Materials Lab is uh, solid state physics and also uh, some nanosciences in uh, in terms of research topic. Uh, so it's more solid, let's say, atomic physics and, and molecular physics. PMMH is really macroscopic physics. So fluid mechanics, solid mechanics, but from a point of view of physicists, there will be several uh, research projects from, from that group. And Gulliver also has uh, research project uh, offered here is more on soft matter physics. So uh, essentially the 18 uh, PhD projects are uh, researchers that typically do not have funding. There was a question about is this for the CSC program? So the reason they are advertising is because they are looking for a candidate from China interested in that topic who uh, would be willing to apply for the CSC program and obtain a fellowship. Uh, of course, there can be people who uh, are not submitting a project, uh, but are still at ESPCI and uh, would be interested in uh, taking a, a motivated Chinese student interested in what they're doing. So if you don't see, if you look at the list of projects, and you don't see what you're interested in, but you go to the website of the university and uh, on the website of the university, you're seeing something interesting. I think uh, you can definitely contact the researchers. It's time to do so and say, okay, I'm, I, I saw the presentation. I think it would be interesting for me. Could I, I work uh, with, with you? I can see a question here. Can visiting joint PhD student obtain the PhD degree? The, the answer is yes. It's also possible to have a joint advising, but I think it's a different type of a CSC fellowship to, to do this these joint advising between a Chinese uh, supervisor and a French supervisor. But then you get two diplomas. Can we go to the next, I think? So uh, to give an idea of, uh, of what we do, um, the, the research infrastructure of ESPCI, it's mostly small equipment. Uh, we have some electron microscopes and large scale equipment, but many labs are pretty well equipped with state of the art equipment. I think if I, if I look at uh, some of the, the, let's say the common equipment that we have, I put here some example of 3D printing, confocal microscopy, uh, microfluidics, uh, which is, uh, we have a platform that is available for everyone. And I put some names of uh, scientists uh, who are uh, in, maybe a bit more visible in, uh, in the, uh, let's say, uh, uh, in the ESPCI uh, sphere that have received award, like uh, in, in the ultrasound and imagery, Matthias Fink and Michael Tanter, they do imaging uh, with, with ultrasounds and they're both really well known in their area. Christian Serre is an a, a inorganic chemist who uh, is also very well known in, in metal organic framework. And I have also some people who recently got awards from, from ERC. So I'm putting them up also because uh, particularly Andrew Griffith just received an ERC synergy grant. So these are people who might have also their own funding and so if you look them up, uh, you, you might be able to apply either for a CSC or for a, even a, a funded uh, opportunity. So this, this gives a bit of an idea. If you look at the topic, 
Anke Lindner is in uh, fluids. She uh, uh, works in fluid physics, fluid mechanics. Andrew Griffith uh, is an expert on biochemistry. Uh, and uh, Sandrine Ituria is an inorganic chemist working on quantum dots. So, so you will find them easily if you Google them on the uh, website of the school. I think I, I hear from Violet that uh, the video of the general video of presentation about ESPCI uh, should be working with the sound. So I think uh, it still, I think, would be interesting for you to, to listen to this short summary of uh, the, the philosophy of uh, research at ESPCI. I think we, I don't know if we have, uh, yeah, okay, there's this one first. So this gives you some, I think we can go to the key facts and figure. So the, the, the size, I mean, you, we are about uh, 520 researchers uh, and uh, postdocs and PhDs. So this is, includes everyone. If you look at just the permanent position, it's about 200 permanent position. Uh, so principal investigator that you can work with about 270 PhD candidates currently. Uh, we published about 500 publications per year, so indeed about maybe 40, 45 per month. Uh, and uh, we also have quite a few patents and uh, innovation and startup created in the laboratory. Uh, in terms of partnerships, I put here some companies that we have a close partnership with. Uh, in the in the labs, uh, people have their own international uh, contacts and collaborations. Uh, I personally have many collaborations in China, but there are other of my colleagues who do. Uh, and but this is really dependent on the laboratory and the researcher. So I think I would certainly encourage you uh, if you are interested in in working with us to look at our website and explore a bit. Uh, uh, what uh, researchers are doing, and of course, looking at the topics that are being proposed to see whether you find something interesting for you. So the, the last line here is about some of our awards. So again, the, the, of course, Nobel Prize people know, ERC grant, but they're not recent. The, the latest Nobel Prize was 30 years ago. But ERC grants are, are European uh, research-funded uh, projects that are large, there are awards, and, and we have two or three every year that, that come in the school. So I think this is for fundamental research. Uh, also, we, we have uh, some awards from, from CNRS that I'm putting in here. The, the research is, is quite dynamic. We just moved currently into a brand new building. The city of Paris has invested 230 million to build a brand new building, and uh, we are moving right now into it. So in September, uh, the, the research lab will be in, the, in this new building. So state-of-the-art facility. So it's, it's never been a better time to, to come to the ESPCI. So maybe we can uh, finish by showing the video and take some questions. Yeah, uh, if sound is okay. Bonjour, Mira. Hello. I'm Constantino Creton, the Vice President of Research of ESPCI Paris PSL. ESPCI Paris PSL is a small engineering school with a strong focus on research. We're located in the center of Paris and we have 11 research laboratories that work on interdisciplinary re research at the interface between chemistry, physics and biology. In biology, we have a laboratory dedicated to neurosciences and we also have a strong focus of uh, microfluidics for uh, medical and pharmaceutical applications, and also wave physics for medicine. In chemistry, we have a very strong focus on chemistry of materials, 
but also on organic chemistry and more recently on biochemistry. In physics, our laboratory is focused on on wave physics, optics, and acoustics, on solid state physics, for example, low temperature superconductivity, and also on soft matter physics, which is a very strong focus of the ESPCI. Every year, our researchers publish about 500 research paper, out of which 10 to 15% are published in journals with an impact factor higher than 10. We also patent, patent. we have about 30 patents every year coming from the research of the school and two or, four or three startup companies that are being founded from researches done within ESPCI Paris. A researcher at the school is someone fundamentally interested in interdisciplinary science and also as much into fundamental and applied science. Our academically oriented PhD graduates continue on to postdocs in prestigious universities in Europe and the United States and usually end up professors in very well-known university worldwide. We also have strong ties to industry and the majority of our PhD graduates will go to our research and development jobs in industry. The first reason to come to France is really Paris. Paris is a beautiful city to live in, but it's also a great scientific center. And you will always find in one of the Parisian laboratories the expertise you need to advance your research project. Additionally, uh, mentoring at ESPCI is very personalized. You will not have more than two or three PhD students per advisor and will have ample time to discuss with them. My best advice to you would be to look carefully at the research group and what they do and what they have done before you actually pick a research PhD topic. A bientôt. Hi, Chan. See you soon. Thank you so much, Costantino, for this uh, short presentation and uh, this uh, video presenting the, the school of uh, ESPC. Um, now we will Alicia Da will arrive on the call to present um, the School of Art et Métier. So, Ali, if you're ready. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Violet, for, and I'm sorry I arrived two minutes late, and I think you, you changed the order. It's okay for me. Thank you very much for organization of this meeting. So, I, I try to have seven minutes to present uh, the research in our school. If you can go to the next slide, please. Uh, so, Armitier Paris Tech organized in 15 labs, but for this edition of the CPHD Paris Tech program, we propose 25 PhD proposal in eight fields of engineering with nine of our laboratory. You can find this 55, 25, excuse me. Uh, subject in uh, website of uh, Paritech and also the presentation in the second session of this meeting. We can go to next slide, please. Just I present you the frame, some key figure and also the framework of a strategy of research in our uh, school. So we are organized in 11 sets with uh, more than 6,000 students. And uh, we have a doctoral school here, and we can present it in the next slide. And actually more than 20 hundred uh, uh, students working in, uh, PhD students working in our labs and do their PhD. One of the particularity of RMATA, uh, we can come back to, uh, thank you, uh, is that or we organize in eight campuses, 
for the educated. So if you check your uh, subject we propose, you can check also in which campuses. It can be in Paris, but also in other cities in uh, in France. But we work in it's the same school, and we work and we can have, so have also some labs working in two or three campuses. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah, here so you can see the name of the laboratory and the area we work. Don't follow the arrow because there are a lot of in the next slide this may be more clear. But I want to show the here the area we work is can be the main area is manufacturing and energy, especially in the topic of mechanical engineering and thus industrial engineering and energy engineering. And we work actually also in the research in this for the application in mobility, also in health tech and biomechanic, and uh, recently also in construction. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah. And here we can see some of our facilities we have in, uh, in our school and in the different campuses. So we have the facilities and equipment that we can find in industry in for the manufacturing we can see here for fluid mechanics in uh, biomechanics uh, and virtual reality and so on so all of the uh, phd we propose is linked with this uh, platform and equipment and there are or most of them a link with the experimental uh, part of uh, research and engineering. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, for the some keys that we can find in for all of the, the school. So we are about now about 400 teacher researcher for two more 200 PhD student, as I say. Uh, we have more than 500 publication each year. So there are a link with international one. We have, I think, more than 20% of uh, uh, pure PhD in with joint PhD with international universities, and also the, to link with uh, with industry. Actually, we have six research chair within the industries. They huge program for then more than five uh, five years, six or seven years working with around five and 10 PhD students in a topic proposed by, by, by the industrial partner. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah, thank you very much for this time. If you have the question, uh, you can ask to me after or by email, you can send it to, to me. Uh, you can look or subject we propose, but if you uh, I propose to you also check our website and the website of the laboratory. If you want to work in the particular uh, topic or you start already started already your PhD and you want to to have a joint PhD program, don't hesitate to contact me and I can I contact our laboratory and researcher and maybe to propose to a subject adapt to your uh what do you want to do in your in research thank you thank you so much Hadi, for this presentation uh, and I, i'm sorry i have another much. meeting but i come back after to the room for the i think room three for the presentation of my subject also thank you thank you thank you so thank you Hadi. and before to have uh, the presentation of the advisors in the little groups i will uh, let virginie present uh, the research at uh, ecole des Ponts. Uh, so, yes, so thank you, Violet. Uh, thank you very much for everyone. I'm very happy to have the opportunity to present uh, the research at Ecole des Ponts Paris Tech uh, here in front of you. So next slide, please. Um, so here there will be five PhD proposals proposed by uh, different people in uh, different labs of uh, Ecole des Ponts, uh, mainly Institut Navier, HMCO, Les U and uh, Cermix. And uh, so we, uh, we will give you more information about these topics uh, uh, in the second part of this, uh, of this webinar. 
And so basically, uh, research, um, Ecole des Ponts Paris Tech, uh, its main research fields are related to sustainable development and to um, uh, questions related to uh, uh, ecology, to uh, civil engineering and uh, urban issues, basically. There are 12 research laboratories uh, working on different disciplines, mainly mechanical and civil engineering, material science, nuclear energy, uh, mathematics, informatics, environmental sciences, transport, economy, social sciences, and uh, different uh, research questions related to urban uh, development. And mainly these labs are, um, uh, are let's say, uh, grouped into uh, different um, application uh, related fields. So for instance, Institut Navier is uh, the lab uh, which is mostly uh, focused about mechanical and civil engineering and material science. So CERMIX is the lab, um, um, applied mathematics lab and LEGM is the lab um, of informatics. And these three labs work uh, mainly for issues related to um, uh, modern, modern industrial processes. And I will not detail all the different specificities of the lab, but if you are interested, do not hesitate to go and see on the website of uh, Ecole des Ponts to see different projects related to uh, city and mobility systems or management of risks or uh, economy and social sciences. Uh, next slide, please. So the, there are different, very interesting research infrastructures uh, at Ecole des Ponts. So mainly related to uh, the issues that I just uh, uh, presented you uh, before. So for instance, um, the building um, uh, the building platform uh, is a platform which is dedicated to research uh, linked to uh, additive manufacturing. So there are lots of issues related there. So there are lots of experimental um, uh, experimental sorry um, um, experimental platforms to test different types of materials for additive manufacturers, different types of processes. Uh, there are also a very huge activity around uh, machine learning and uh, neural networks in order to predict in advance what will be uh, the properties of materials pro the, produced by this type of techniques. Uh, there is a Fresnel platform, which is uh, dedicated to uh, modelization and um, uh, experimental measurements of geophysical fields, in particular to study um, um, issues related to uh, weather forecast, to atmospheric changes, and uh, for, uh, for and to multi-scale uh, phenomena related to rain, for instance. And we have also some lab in, uh, which is a joint lab between EDF. EDF is a French electricity company, which is located in Chateau, so it's in the west of the Parisian region. Uh, which is dedicated to the study of flows, uh, in particular for uh, for breakups or uh, in order to study um, ways to prevent uh, inundations, for instance. And there are lots of them also, which I will not detail here, but we have this great uh, luck at Ecole des Ponts who have both experimental research facilities, uh, which work hand in hand with more theoretical and uh, numerical research uh, teams. So that's a, that's a great environment. So just a few key figures to present Ecole des Ponts. There are um, between 400 and 500 researchers, uh, around 500 PhD and postdoctoral students, which include 46% of international doctoral students. So you will be in a very international environment. Uh, also, a very strong specificity of Ecole des Ponts is that uh, uh, more than half of the research programs are sponsored by industry. So you can see most of them come from in, uh, um, industry related to civil engineering or mechanical engineering issues, but uh, not only. There are also industries related to uh, transport to um, and to uh, energy, uh, energy uh, production as well. Um, Typically, there are roughly 1,000 international publications uh, per year, on average. And uh, we've got uh, this year three new ERC grants. 
uh, which make, uh, if I'm not mistaken, six ERC projects running in Ecole des Ponts um, uh, right now. And uh, our PhD students uh, often uh, uh, gain uh, some prestigious prizes. So next slide, please. So do not hesitate to uh, to contact us if you have any questions. There will be uh, some uh, more information on the PhD topics proposed in the CSC program uh, in the second part of the webinar. And uh, don't hesitate if you have any questions. Thank you, Virginie, for your presentation. Um, so if you have uh, any questions, not hesitate to contact directly, of course, the representative, but to contact also directly the Paritech office uh, in Asia. Uh, Minhua, uh, Yang, and I, we are here to answer any question uh, you may have on uh, the Paritech uh, CSC PhD program. Then you can have a direct uh, contact as uh, phone number of our office and her direct uh, email address. So if you have any question, do not hesitate. We can also answer it through WeChat and you can check all the information uh, through scanning the QR code of WeChat Weibo and Bilibili if you have any questions. Um, you can also use the chat now if there is any more questions on Vitech, Vitech CST program and the school's research. If you do not have any more questions, we will go to the second part of this webinar. So during the first part of the webinar, we were all together to do this general presentation. And during the second part uh, of uh, this webinar, uh, we will be separated in five groups, uh, depending on uh, the main thematic of uh, the PhD proposals. So um, for all uh, the students, it will be the time to be in direct contact with the advisors uh, and uh, the, your maybe future uh, PhD supervisors. So depending on the main thematic uh, of uh, the PhD proposals you're interested in, you can whether go in room one if you are mainly uh, interested in the thematic of chemistry, physical chemistry and chemical engineering, and you will be in short rooms with advisors and uh, candidates. Uh, for room two, for life and health science, environment science and technology, sustainable development geosciences. In room three, for information and communication science and technology, mathematics and the applications, energy processes and design industry industrialization. If you have questions uh, and you're interested in PhD proposals with main thematic materials, science, mechanics, and fluids, it will be in room four. And for candidates and advisors, especially for PhD proposals with main thematic physics and optics, you will be in room five. So you, I will let you directly um, go into uh, the rooms whether in room one, two, three, or four, 